Hello, hello, hello all my machine heads and welcome, welcome, welcome to a brand new series on Riverview the Cow Empire. Boy, do I have a challenge for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the people who voted. But this one is a specific challenge that one of our family members, Tim S., pointed out to me today in the comments and i am going to take it we are going to start here except for a little bit of twist tim i sorry i i twisted it up because that's fury style always twisting always turning always doing what i need to do to make it interesting anyways what he suggested that we do is he suggested that we start here on new farmer mode and then as we make our money, we have five years to make our money. And then we move on to take our money and we move on to the next map and the next map. So everybody's happy. Dun, dun, dun. Except I did a little bit of twist. If you look up in the right hand corner, we have a $10 million loan. It's a 10 million, 10 year challenge. So we have 10 years to pay off that loan. If we pay it off in five, then we're going to sell all our equipment in five years and take it on to calmston farms and so on and so forth the difference is is that on this map we're going to do dairy cows since it's the cow empire on the next map we're going to do a different animal maybe beef cows and on the third map of this installment we are going to do maybe sheep or just chickens or something or even pigs something completely different so thank you guys for helping with that. Thank you, Tim, for giving me the idea. And I'm going to go with this. So here's the rules. This is the rules. Uh, it doesn't matter what tractors we use. It doesn't matter what... Uh, that's the other twist. Uh, you guys pick the series. I'm going to go ahead and pick the tractors on this. And as we go to a different map, maybe I'll open it up so that you guys can do it. It doesn't matter what tractors we pick with the exception of we're not allowed to have over 200 horsepower. That's one of the rules. We're not allowed to have over 8 meter equipment wide. Uh, and that includes implements. That includes headers. That includes balers. That includes everything. Nothing bigger than 8 meters. Nothing bigger than 200 horsepower. So it's going to be a smaller. And we're going to start with 250 cows. And the only way we can make money from the cows is to sell the milk. Okay. All manure, all slur slurry that comes from them must be used on the fields. That's the deal. We can't sell it. We can't make. The only money we can make is literally from milk. We are not allowed to put it in a dairy. We're not allowed to use factories. So you can't just make butter or anything. It's just from milk sales. So this map has a possibility of having 2,000 cows on the main farm here. Then there are several other iterations. Whoops, let me get to the map here. There are several different other dairy farms and stuff around the map. Uh, this is uh, my all-time favorite map. You guys know that. So I'm very familiar with this. I've had a Let's Play on it before. But we're going to do a legitimate cow army on this one. We're going to go 250 cows right from the bat. Every calf that is born will go up to the other uh, pen up there so that they can grow up and start being a pen of their own. And that note, let's get started. So how's everybody doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome. I'm doing fantastic as usual. We're also not going to do Holstein as I always do Holstein and I'm not going to do it today. So we're going to go down here and we're going to get our 250 cows, which is spending $82,000 right off the bat. So there's 50. Okay. And we're going to go brown Swiss again. There is 100. There is 150. I'm buying the older ones so that they can give us milk right away. That's what we're trying to accomplish here. There's 200. As you can see, each pen holds 1,000. So we're a long ways away from that. But we figured that we would um, start with at least 250 so that we can get it. Like I said, there we go. Now, because Farm Sim has the physics where they can't die, I'm not concerned about them getting some food right this second. As you can see up in the corner, we're playing 6x speed. My videos will be about an hour long. I'm going to have one video per. We're going to play one game day months, one month for one day. I'm going to put out one video per game day, and that's it. 
Uh, if I play basically for an hour, that'll be six hours, and I will play the rest off camera, or I will fast forward one of the two. But we have our 250 cows. Let's go. We got to go down here, and we got to harvest the first field. I started with one harvester, one tractor, one mower, and one header, and that's it. Everything else. Oh, and I bought a new little truck. Yay. This is my 1948 low loader, whatever it's called here. Inter international. There it is. Let's throw this in here. Let's back her into a trailer. Oh, with, like I stated in the beginning, one of the rules are we are not allowed to have any factories. That is going out for Gutterball. He asked uh, one of his... Um, Listen, nice little air sounds. One of his rules that he wanted in the gameplay choice was he wanted me to make all three bale types. No factories, no silage factories, no nothing. I can make TMR uh, through hay and uh, silage and then straw for their bedding um, and that sort of thing. But I must use bales. Uh, we are gonna, like I said, we are playing on hard mode, and the only way we can make money is through the milk. So, let's stop talking and get working, because the time's gonna go pretty fast. Uh, I also will be selling this, but I'm gonna sell it off camera. Um, I won't need that. I will use the fuel, though, for this map. So let's buy 10,000 liters of fuel. Oh, is this liquid fertilizer? Uh, is this... Is this liquid fertilizer? Because I will use that. Because I'm going to use liquid fertilizer. Nope. All right. So let's sell that. Let's get rid of this. I don't want it anymore. I don't want it anymore. I don't want anything like that on the farm. There. This is the fuel. Uh, I will be using liquid fertilizer. Like I stated, something different. I've never used liquid fertilizer because I don't like it but we're gonna try it and then we're gonna go from there so now we have our cows let's get our harvest of our first wheat field done here everything is a smaller um map like i said we start with the new holland right from the beginning i kept the same harvester take this down to the field but as you can see now time's gonna go pretty quick 6x is pretty quick speed it's going to be awesome, actually. So let's make sure that we unfold as we get by that. Enable swath. Because we want the straw for our cows. Because we got to get it right away. This, and then I'll take the tractor down, and I'll bring the header down, the header trailer down. Let's get this right here. Ooh, please don't drive on the fields. <laughs> I've got the automatic engine turned off for now. I will be turning it back on because I like the engine to be able to run. But right now, because uh, I've gotten kind of spoiled on a, on Multiplayer Friday. So let's get into here. This is our new Holland. Or actually, this is our Fent. Colored in New Holland colors. I did that on purpose because I thought, well, I've never seen a blue Fent. <laughs> so I just decided something... Uh, And I th think it's this one. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, fr the furling map was awesome. I mean, absolutely fantastic. And don't get me wrong. Uh, I absolutely love it. The problem that I had, as I explained to you guys in the video, uh, it's hard to find old iron equipment that matches like old. Like you can find what everyone claims is old iron, but it's like 80s and 90s or... Like, they'll, they'll take and scuff up a baler or something like that and say it's old, and I find out later that it's, like, 2000s. So. Yeah, I got to make sure that turns back on again. So I'm going to try to keep everything, you know, eight meters and under. Like I said, uh, we're not going to go crazy. 
right. I'm going to go across the field. I'm also going to try to do Cavalier Roy a solid and keep as much of the fields the same way. Like, I'm not going to even remove trees. So that's why I said these fields are going to be a little bit smaller. That can go like at an angle like that, just for now. Because I will be heading down to buy a trailer as soon as our harvester's full. But right now, let's get harvesting so we can keep going. Head up to the top of the field. We're going to go do our headlands first. Well, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go this way to begin with. I think I got enough room. Maybe. trees like right in the perfect area right there we go let's go give me some straw give me some straw great awesome we're harvesting everyone we got to get this field the next field over the canola field straight ahead done before today's over because you guys all know it'll all uh, get rid of it so we're gonna get um we gotta go down and get a baler so i can get the straw i gotta get a straw blower so i don't want to i want to try to keep going this way because this hill because when you do round bales they tend to fall off and they tend to roll away as long as i'm not driving too much on them Effect. And what we're going to do is we're going to utilize some workers here. So let me get one more. I think it's I think I need three. Because we're not we're going to be doing other stuff. So we're going to get them going. In fact, what I may do is get course play going here. gonna go just across but you know what uh let's see how we can set the course course play up okay let's get course play here uh we're gonna go first waypoint uh hmm I forgot how to open this. Oh, there it is. <laughs> um. <laughs> We're not going to pay these course play drivers anything. We're not going to let them auto repair. Uh, okay, after zero, good. I'm going to take that. Um. All right, so let's do this. Uh, where is course play here? There we go. There we go. I don't want that. All right, I want to do... I forgot how to use this. It's been so long since I haven't been... Um, I haven't used it in forever. Okay. So back. Uh, I forgot how to use this. I really did. So for now, we're just going to do this because I forgot. Whoops. I really did. And uh, I got to get. What is going on here? 
There. I got to figure it out, and, I, and I'll got to go back to it. I don't want to spend too much of my time trying to figure out course play. Uh, when I, it's been so long since I've used it. I think the last time I used it was Maypole Farms, so I want to get... Uh, when I'm playing a little off camera, I'll practice and I'll get used to it again. I got to bring up my how to bring it up and all that stuff and generate the course. And, but right now, I can't I can't waste any more time trying to figure it out. 6x speed time goes a little bit too fast for us to stop doing anything. We have to keep moving. I did not want to go this way, but I figured I would try to set up course play, but you see how well that worked out for me. <laughs> I'm excited about the series for real because it's uh, we can play with a little bit of older tractors if we want. We can play with a little bit of older stuff, but we're not like pigeonholed into uh, what we need. Like, the old Iron Series, don't get me wrong. Like I said, I absolutely loved making it. I loved doing it. I loved uh, working on it. The problem that I had, only problem I had, was I couldn't find it. Uh, it was very hard to find any kind of equipment. There's only a selected few modders that are putting out stuff for old iron. And some people don't even consider old iron. In fact, I think there's only a couple. For real. <laughs> Uh, I may change a rule. I may remove these trees. I may take the brooks and remove it. Um, just because. Well, you know what I could do? I could just delete them. Um, and then that solves the problem of us making any more money from wood chips. Because the only way we're going to make money is either crops, like I said, or milk. And that's it. That's the only way. So it's going to be a long time to pay that $10 million loan off. But the nice thing is in the beginning here, uh, it will give us a chance to uh, buy whatever we want to get going. So that would be kind of cool. So it has its advantages and has its disadvantages. You can start with some mega, 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 mega equipment. Um, in fact, I think I'm going to go up here, finish this. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to start deleting some trees here. Uh, it's against the rule that I wanted to make, but it's some of these fields just are pain in the butt with the trees in the way. Wow. Okay. Now. Uh go there that way you can just delete these trees and I don't make any money off of them and they're out of the way it's an easy fix to them but at least that way I'm staying true to only making money from it a uh, certain way. Now, if he's able to turn around and stuff pretty good there, we'll, uh, we'll let him go, and I'll head on down and grab us a baler and start bailing. All right, one more here, and then I'll go quickly right around the other one. Actually, I'll go up and get rid of these two on the end that are painting a butt in the way. That one and then this one was the one that I couldn't start with. Kevlar Roy's an amazing map maker. All right. It's funny how I'm sprinting faster than he should have enough. Nope, we'll do that field when we get started. Let's see. Let's make sure he has enough room here. Yes. Perfect. All right. So let's go on down, let him do his thing now. We'll grab us a trailer first uh, so we can unload him, and then we'll come back down and we'll uh, grab a baler and we'll start bailing.
and then a straw blower so we can get these girls some straw right off the bat here yeah he's almost full grain tank i forgot he only holds like 9,500. the other reason i picked this tractor is it's fast i can bebop down to the store we're not allowed to use store deliveries uh, i tell you i'm so spoiled with that on uh uh, multiplayer Friday that store deliveries is a godsend especially on a 4x map and I think that's not 4x anyways uh, let's go trailers I am going to get us the flegel 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 the only reason I like this um, manure spreaders what really Huh. Yeah, I like that. Uh, the only reason I like this Flegel is because it's just, it doesn't tip or anything. It just pushes out the back. I didn't know you could get that in a manure spreader. I also turned off manual attach because I figured we're, there's going to be times when we're kind of in a hurry. So we're going to kind of move along. Hope you guys like this. This is going to be fun. The setup videos are always hard. Because uh, it's always like you have to explain everything well, how you're doing stuff and then you want to get going uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2 Because I don't have my timer going So i got to play till 2 2 o'clock And then I can shut her down And come back Man, what a gorgeous map I had forgotten how beautiful this map was But we're going to do things a little bit differently. Like, you guys were all asking for us to do these things just a little bit different. And uh, we are. It's going to be kind of cool. $10, Ten million dollar loan challenge I've done before, but I haven't given myself time. I can turn around and... Actually, now i got to... I want to unload him here before... Let's start, but look at that one headland on this side, and you can actually hire a worker. It's gonna be great. Then we'll head down quick and we'll buy a baler and we'll start bailing. We'll park this trailer someplace cool away from him, and we'll come through and start bailing. I think I'm going to be able to, the nice thing is, I think I'm going to be able to hold at least three tankfuls on this. All right. Out of the way. Get him going again. Yeah, we're going to utilize workers as much as we can because we got to get some stuff done. There we go. Let's get him up the top here so he's out of the way of everything. Nice thing is it shows me on the bottom. I put the vehicle inspector mod in here so that like when I'm running, I can see now he sees he's got 7%. I can tell where he's at so I know how far I've got. All right, let's grab us the baler that does 180 bales. Uh, and it's the reason I'm doing that is because the biggest baler as far as 180, but we're going to use the silage wrapper that's the tube. And then we just come and cut them along. We also own a John Deere uh, skid steer, a little bit older one. So I'm trying to go a little bit older and a little bit of modern. Uh, and the cool thing is we're going to end up, okay, we're going to actually do it differently than a little different than what Tim did. But man, what a great idea, Tim. Good job. Good job. Good job. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start on this map. We're going to get the $10 million loan paid off if we can. Or 10 years, whichever one comes first. Uh, and then we are going to... Let's get us our bailer first while I keep talking here. Uh, bailers. This one here does 180. Okay. And we're going to go a little bit slower. We're going to go 6.9. So, see, you're getting a little bit older and a little bit modern. So, it's kind of cool. 
Uh, but yeah, so what we're going to do is the reason we're, um, I want to change this to 180. There you go. Because if I'm not mistaken, let me double check here. This thing here around. Yep, up to 180. Okay, perfect. Uh, we're going to start here. We're, then we're going to move to Calmston. Then after Calmston, we're going to end up on the 16X Hastings. And the reason why we're going to end up there last is the fields are massive. It's a 16X map. And they're very, very, very expensive. Like one field alone, uh, like the 200 and something acre field, is like $7 million. So... You, the field you start with uh, that's the other thing that Tim said we're going to do is and I normally wouldn't drive across these fields but see he's only 26% so I can actually see down in the corner where he's at now uh, the reason why I did that purposely is I mean some of the fields like I said are crazy crazy expensive I mean, seven or eight, nine million. There was one that was like nine million dollars, but then again, it was like a, for a four hundred acre field. So, eleven thousand liter bales. That's great. That's the way it should be. We'll let him turn around. He's at thirty three percent. That that inspector mod down at the bottom is nasty. I love it. Love it. Love it. Comes in handy when on single player, for sure. Because when you hire a worker, you can actually see what's in his harvester. You can see what how much more he's got. Like you can see down at the bottom, uh, my baler's 12% full. So I found out even on this little small field here, you can do one headland up one side and down the other and then turn the worker loose. Nice. Now we're getting some stuff done here. Now with 250 cows, I'm assuming it should be quite a bit of straw it'll take. But I just want to get them a little bit of bedding here. I think it's going to work out great. I think you guys are going to enjoy this. It's going to be great because I started with $10 million and when I get the $10 million loan paid off, I would love, would love to take, you know, the money that we make, like $10 million, and be able to buy our equipment and stuff. You know, we'll see. What I may also do is I may zero it out. We'll, we'll have to judge that when we get there. This baler is really nice. And with 11,000 liter bales, you get quite a bit. You actually do. Now I'll go. He's still at 52, so that'll be good. We'll let him go. So now we'll go down this way. We'll know that we'll be able to fit a full one. I hope it does it around the shed. I hope he works pretty good around the shed. So we're not going to necessarily go like super realistic speeds, but I am going to, uh, chances are I will slow down a lot of the speeds because I just don't, I'm not a fast farmer. I'm, I just never have been. So I think I'll, I'll slow it down, but I'm not going to go like creeping speed. Man, this little baler is nice. Not gonna lie. He's still at 60. He should be able to pretty close to finish that. 
I'm hoping anyways. Look at that, 22,000 liters of straw already. That is insane. That's actually a pretty good yield. If you ask me, anyways. <laughs> So it'll at least be enough to get him some straw, like right off the bat. 72. He's going to be close, but I think he can make it to the end. This tractor come with 196 horsepower. So it stayed under the 200 horsepower that we wanted. That's good. Because I figured on a little, or it's, this isn't a big map, but it's not a small map either. Uh, I just figured 200 horsepower would just be just about right what we needed. Man, I hope you guys just stay tuned for the whole thing. Make sure you guys stay tuned for uh, uh, Friday multiplayer. Uh, today I'm recording this on Thursday on Friday multiplayer I got to do a farm tour for those guys so I'm letting them know now that I will be recording tomorrow night for the farm tour and I also will be recording Saturday with Gutterball remember that's that's our deal there now he's done Three thousand liters. It's gonna be great. I think we're gonna end up with, I'm guessing, almost probably close to a hundred thousand of just straw off this little field. Like, see what I mean? It's like, and if you planted both of these in wheat or even wheat and barley, I think wheat, I think wheat gives you the best yield. It doesn't. You don't make as much money from it, uh, but you do get the most yield and you get the most straw yield as well. Man, I'll tell you something. This map is just awesome. It's perfect. Like I said, it's my favorite all-time map. So, But I'm, I'm going to continue to do things differently. So the other thing is, too, is that, okay, so we've done dairy cows on this map, right? So like I said in the beginning, when we get to Calmston, which is the next map, uh, we're not allowed to use dairy cows. So we can do cows, but we have to use... Uh, the beef cows, which I've never done before. So that'd be kind of exciting as well. Uh, and then by the time we get to Hastings, we, we can only do either sheep, chicken, or horses, and that's it. So, it'd be exciting. I thought that was... A lot of people don't like used like to use round balers uh, because you have to stop all the time but I love them because it gives you a chance uh, round balers load easier than uh, square bales and this is just my opinion the square bales stack better but like to go around with like a skid steer or a telehandler or whatever to pick up round bales is easy you stab it you can grab two of them at a time you stab into them and go in fact I may sell that skid steer and buy a telehandler so that we can actually move right along. In fact, I think I will do that. 
just going to finish bail on this up so it's done. Uh, what's that? 40? Yeah, 10, 11, 22, 33, 44,000. I told you, it's going to be close to 100. With just this little field. So if I planted both of these fields in wheat right there, you're going to get 200,000 liters of wheat, uh, uh, straw for bedding. Like right off the bat. Or pretty close. I may be off a little bit, but it's going to be close. And we'll take our trailer. We'll head on down to uh, one of the sell points and sell our wheat right off the bat. It'll be our first form of profit. Five thousand. It might be off a little bit, but still, it's over fifty thousand liters of straw. Fifty-five to be exact. Like I said, I was gonna keep all. I was gonna just keep all the trees, but I realized that some of these maps would be more. Or more some of these fields would be way, way, way more challenging than ever expected. But you see now how fast we're flying through days. Instead of, like, I usually go 3x or 2x uh, on my maps, but I want to get through the days a lot quicker so that we can have the opportunity. Because we only have 10 years total. Uh, so that would be our 100 episodes if it takes us that long. If it takes us that long, it takes us that long. If it doesn't, if we get it done in less time, uh, then so be it. So it's a combination of all of the, uh, what do you call it there? What everybody was saying, because people were like, oh, do, do this with cows and do this with beef cows. And, oh, it's great. You guys were all commenting. It was great. You know, by one day, we had, like, six or seven votes. And I was like, sweet. Whoops. The other thing I like about the round baler, and it does it with the square one, too, but... No, it doesn't. The square baler just keeps going. But the round baler, like, when it's full, will stop. It'll just stop bailing. You can drive over it all you want. It just won't pick up anymore. So it's like a, a mess up proof. I don't think I'm going to get 11,000 from this. Nope. So I was a little off 66,000 plus what's in here? About 70,000. Not bad. I gotta fix that. Uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna leave the header right on this because I think it's seven and a half meters. Oh. Almost forgot that. I think at the seven and a half meters, I can drive up and down the road, which is kind of neat for a for a UK map based. Look at that. There's 10,000 liters of wheat just off this field alone. It's great. It's a little tiny field, too. It's actually only 2.73 acres. I got to turn on the... Uh, I got to... What it is is we got a mod that's loaded up for multiplayer Friday where you, it'll just automatically start your motor for you and I have to remove that mod because I want my engine to run all the time so I think I'm going to leave this header on I'll sell that little header trailer
won't fit in there, but this is all you need. See, you're completely underneath the shed anyways. Works out. Works out. of that head a trailer it's not gonna be much money but hey four grand we won't need it i'm really pretty positive that you can drive up down the roads with that seven and a half meter still 35 feet wide but still no seven times three is 21 It'll be about 22 feet my bad all right so let's head down we'll sell this wheat uh, and then, actually, you know what? Yeah. We'll sell the wheat first. And then we'll see. Hopefully, it won't take us that long. Come back and drop this off quick. And go back and buy us a straw blower. In fact, you know what? I got an idea. I got an idea. All right, everyone. Don't kill me here. All right, so we're going to sell, let's sell our skid steer and sell the front loader tool and buy us a telehandler, uh, the Merlot. Let's get the little baby one because it's got a three-point hitch on the back. Uh, let's see, whoops, design. Uh, there you go. And then we'll go down here, and I love this little thing here. This little front loader tool. Four spikes, front loader, telehandler. And now what we're going to do is, I think because this has a three-point link on the back, I can hook up the straw blower right to the back of it. So we're not wasting a trip. Uh, let's get this. Animals. Animals. Where are we? Uh, let's see. The straw blower is right here. Right? Or do we want to just do... This is a straw blower, too. Yeah. Let's do this one, and I can put two of them. That's 22,000 liters in there. But the nice thing about this little Merlot... Oh, this is great. It's off the in-game mod hub. Is, look, it's got a three-point hitch on the back of it. You can't pull stuff like mega fast. This thing only goes 24 miles an hour. But the nice thing I like about it is, think about this. You can buzz things around your yard and, and like put equipment away with this thing because it has the all-wheel steering. So it's nice to fit through like little tight mount yards. And that up there. The spikes will allow me to raise this up, but I won't need it show you the interior too the also the door unlocks watch this oh maybe I, I don't know what I set it up you can set it up in the thing is the to open and close the door I'm gonna do our little cut through here we'll be a little bit more realistic once we get set up uh, it's because of the fact that it's Always, 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 the setup videos are such, like, they're, they're like, long. Because it's, like, trying to figure out what we got to do. There we go. And then you can do this. Pull right up to it. Jam it out. And we're going to try to get two bales in here. Oops. Let's 
See why I like I just like round balers better. Look at that. It's like somebody knows what they're doing. And then you can just fold this up and drive. Oops, there's the door. <laughs> Told you. Then you can fold this up and you can drive right down the road with it. All right. Get these guys some straw. Look at that. It fits two round bales. Then I run into a tree. <laughs> so it fits 22,000 liters and I could probably put four in there if I want but look see now this Merlot does not have a lot of power it's only got like 90 horsepower but she works and that's all that matters and the, the three point hitch on it like it, you could actually move implements around which is great Like if you're stacking like three-point hitch stuff and things like that. This. The other thing I want to practice is not only do I have to figure course play out. Uh, I want to figure out how to like send a worker to like sell stuff. <laughs> Here he gets quiet when he's concentrating. See how nice and nimble this thing is? It's great. It's gonna be my kind of my yard tractor. Yard telehandler, we'll call it. Awesome. Let's double check that. All right. So, 21 is just barely on the red still. It's okay, though. It'll take us a while, but that's all right. You guys know the routine. I'm, you're going to lose the game sound, but you're not going to lose me because I want to double check because we're quite a ways into this. Yes. Awesome. We are still recording. All right. So, let's head back down there and we'll grab us. Now, they got a little bit of straw, so I'm not worried about them right now. So, now I want to take my tractor and go sell that grain and then we'll start getting a once we get the uh the initial animals food out of the way then we'll be able to uh get a lot more organized than we are but as you can see this little merlot man i'll tell you is like amazing you can buzz around you can pick up your own bales like if i had a trailer on the back of this which i am going to get Uh, and then I can just walk, drive around and unhook, stack the bale, hook up to it, keep going, do the whole field that way. All right, so let's get down to our sell point and sell this 17,000 liters a week. 
It should be, a, if I'm guessing right, should be pretty close to like maybe, well, half would be 500. Um, and that would be $8,500. So 600, it's going to be about 9,000, I'm guessing. As soon as 2 o'clock hits, we are done. And then I will come and finish it. Uh, which gives me will give me something to do. I don't usually like to do that, but I made a promise when we did these series. We've got three maps to get through. Uh, however long it takes to pay each loan back, that's the key. It gives you something to work for. I really like it. But I am impressed that... 17,000 wheat. I, don't, I didn't even check the fertilization rate of it. I'll bet you if it was fully fully fertilized and fully limed and fully everything, plowed and everything, I'll bet you could probably get 30,000. Almost double. That's Now you guys know why I picked this tractor. It is fast. It's faster than some JCBs. It was funny that how Gutterball put that. He's like, uh, and no factories to make silage and stuff like that because he knows. I'm, I really am a big proponent of the, ooh, 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 like the silage factories and stuff. That's a terrible angle. I should have went around the corner. And go in like this too. Now, as you watch this trailer, this is why I like it. It doesn't tip, it doesn't do anything, it just kind of pushes it out the back, which is great. Oh my gosh, not even close to what I thought. All right. And again, I am on hard mode. Yep, not allowed to use that dairy. Not allowed to. Yep, no, no, no factories on this map at all. Um, now, by the time I get to Calmston, I can use no factories on that. But I, on Hastings, I'm going to have to because there's no production on that map at all. Uh, as I yawn, I gotta stay on this side or Reefy's gonna nail me to the wall. This map's based in the UK, so I gotta stay on this side. I gotta remind myself that I gotta go here. I'm sorry, Reefy, if I didn't follow directions on that one. My bad! If you notice, too, that like the setup videos, not only are they, they take a lot longer, uh, to get going, but uh, it's a lot more serious work because I'm trying to like focus on getting the, the animal for the cows because that harvester, I got to go start harvesting that canola, but I'm going to have to do that off camera. Right, got about 25 minutes left. Now I can take this.
I think I gotta take the double spikes off and just go single. Whoops. There. Oh, I hadn't said anything for five minutes. Yeah, I gotta take the double. Double times off. I'll take it to the workshop when I'm done and just have singles. <laughs> I don't know how I missed that. See if I can get these other two in there, and then we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> Good man. get 44,000 in this thing. There, we're gonna wrap it up right here. All right. Please, please, please be sure to enjoy the night, the day, the weekend when you're watching this. And please, please, please look out for yourselves, look out for each other, and most importantly, look out for each other's families. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, 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 and hit the little notification ding, ding bell so you get notified when I drop a video. I hope you guys love the series because I'm going to enjoy making it. It's my favorite map. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys. Love, love, love each and every one of you, and I'll catch you all right back here uh, Monday because Friday's multiplayer, and then Saturday's gutter ball and I, and then Sunday I don't record, and Monday I'll be back here. But thank you, thank you, thank you.